In Genesis 32, the Bible tells us the story of the patriarch Jacob, who prayed for God's help against his enemy. While wrestling with the Lord in prayer, suddenly Jacob was overtaken by an unknown being whom he began to wrestle with all night long. But then at the rising of the sun, this unknown being touched Jacob's leg, causing his thigh to become dislocated. And now Jacob realizes that he had been wrestling with a supernatural being with supernatural strength. He had been fighting against the very one who came to save him from his troubles in answer to his prayer. The angel of the Lord then commanded Jacob, let me go for the day breaks. But Jacob knows that if he lets go, all hope will be lost. His only hope is to hold on to the one who had all power. And so with no more physical strength to fight on, he holds on to this supernatural being with the power of faith and the strength of surrender. He says to the angel of the Lord, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Jacob has no speed, size, or strength against his heavenly opponent. All he had was faith. And so with his faith, he held on to God. He would not let God leave him. And he pleaded to God to give him the blessed assurance of spiritual strength and merciful deliverance. And as a result, Jacob won an incredible spiritual victory. His name was then changed to Israel, which means Prince of God. He was wrestling with God and he prevailed by faith. Sometimes like Jacob, we too face difficulties in life that have the power to crush us like a Japanese sumo wrestler. Financial troubles, relational issues, health challenges, mental breakdowns, spiritual failures. At times the pressures of life push us out of the ring of God's peace. At times we fall in failure and we don't have the strength to stand our own ground against our adversary. In times like these, we need to join Jacob in hanging on by faith to the unseen God the one who has supernatural power to hold us up in the sumo match of life. For in this fight of faith, victory is not given to the biggest and the fastest and the strongest, but rather it is given to the weakest, who relies most implicitly upon he who is the strongest. That is the mighty Yokozuna in heaven, the grand heavenly champion, Jesus Christ, the one who has the power to give us the victory over every enemy that seeks to bring us down in this life. And so today, I invite you to stop fighting against God, but rather hang tight to Him in faith. Make a commitment that in your darkest hour, you will not let God go. You will not give up on your faith. For faith is the victory that overcomes the world. And with that spiritual victory is the guarantee that one day, we're going to stand tall as spiritual giants and champions of faith in the eternal land of the true 